Hey what's up guys, this right here is Acer Swift One, it's a $300 laptop with a build quality similar to Apple's MacBook Air. The first thing I noticed about this laptop in the store was its design. It's got a simple full aluminum body design that makes it feel more like a $600 laptop. There's an Acer logo located on top of the laptop, then you'll find the word Swift engraved on the plastic hinge. Here are the measurements of the laptop. This weighs in at 3 pounds, it isn't the lightest, but it is light enough to comfortably carry it around and use it. One of my favorite thing about this laptop is its Full HD 1080p display. In my opinion, I think the screen on this looks way better than the screen on Apple's MacBook Air. As I did compare this laptop with my sister's MacBook Air, I found out that the screen on the Acer is like 10 times better than the screen on the MacBook Air. The Acer has 100 times better viewing angle and the screen looks even crispier. I'm not messing around, I really dislike the screen on the $900 to $1000 MacBook Air compared to this $300 laptop. It's just mind boggling. Besides the beautiful screen, this laptop has another premium feature and it's called Windows Hello. It's a built-in fingerprint sensor that's on par with the more premium Lenovo 920. Spec wise, it's not the fastest, but on a day to day use, this gets the job done. It has a 3.85 gigabyte RAM and Intel's Pentium N4200. This has one processor, four cores, and the base frequency and the max frequency on this is 1.07 gigahertz. Browsing the web and watching YouTube was a pretty smooth experience, except whenever I tried to watch a really high quality video, it would sometimes stutter, and other things like using Microsoft Office wasn't a problem, it works, and so do some games like Asphalt. I tried to play Fortnite, it wouldn't even load it up, it would just crash. Well, it froze. I already know what I was. A strawberry. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. So, definitely not a gaming laptop. I did a Geekbench score, and on a single core, it got a score of 1,579. Then on the multi-core, it got a score of 4,078. The battery life on this is a little above average. When I was using the laptop until it died, it lasted for 4 hours 48 minutes, while when I used it throughout the day, it lasted the whole day without a need to charge. Well, let me tell you about the port selection on this laptop. On the right side, it has a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB 3.1 Type-C connector, two USB 3.0 ports, and an HDMI out port. Then on the left side of the laptop, there's a Kingston lock slot, a USB 2.0 port, and a SD card reader. I like the keyboard on this, it's well spaced out and I can type pretty fast. The only thing I don't like about it are the arrow buttons, they feel cramped up and it almost makes it impossible to use it. In my opinion, the laptop screen can get pretty bright, it can get as bright as up to 266 nits, which is comparable to my Lenovo 920 screen, which can get as bright as up to 289 nits. Plus, the screen on the Swift one is glare proof, so that's a big plus. Last thing to talk about is the speaker on this, and it is definitely not the best. I think the speaker on this is comparable to some mid-range smartphone. So when I use the speaker on this laptop, I sometimes have to turn it all the way up in order to hear it, depending on the environment I'm in, and I would just recommend you use headphones. For 300 bucks, you get a laptop with an amazing build quality, and if you're looking to buy a Chromebook, but you will also want features of a regular laptop, then this might be what you're looking for.